And here it is. This is the Radeon HD 7970 Core Edition graphics card from XFX. Now this is reported to be one of the fastest graphics cards in the world. It's also the world's first graphics card to feature a 28 nanometer GPU. Comes armed with 3 gigabyte of insanely blazing fast GDDR5 memory. Is PCIe 3.0 compatible. Feature packed with AMD Infinity and AMD HD 3D technologies. And is also DirectX 11 compatible. Now there are three different versions available of this graphics card. You have the Core Edition like you see here. You also have the Double Dissipation Edition which has a far superior cooling solution built on the card as well as the Double Dissipation Overclocked Black Edition graphics card. But let's get this card out of the box, check out the features, functionality as well as what accessories come with this card. Okay, let's have a quick look inside the box here. Okay, first up you get your accessory guide from XFX on all the XFX products. A Pro Series power supply guidebook. In one side of the box you have your quick installation guide. Limited XFX warranty guide. Driver CD install guide and your AMD graphics card driver install CD. Now just remember it's always a good idea to log on to AMD.com and download the latest and greatest drivers for your graphics card. In the other side of the box we have a full-size HDMI to DVI adapter, your Crossfire bridge and XFX gamer door tag with your serial number. So don't forget to log on to xfx.com and register your graphics card to ensure you're not missing out on any warranties. In the bottom of the box we have the graphics card itself. So let's take this card out of the box and have a closer look at XFX's HD 7970 graphics card. And here it is. First look of the XFX Radeon HD 7970 GPU. Let's have a closer look at this graphics card and check out some of the features of this card. The XFX HD 7970 Core Edition graphics card does come armed with the Hydrocell Thermal Cooling Solution and is also an external venting graphics card. Basically cool air enters the blower type fan assembly, is blown across the hydrocell cooler and exits or vents out the back of the graphics card or your PC. On the back of the card you have this large vent for venting or dissipating the heat off the graphics card itself as well as a DVI port, full size HDMI port and two mini display ports. On the side of the graphics card you have two crossfire bridge connections. These bridge connections will allow you to connect up to four HD7970 graphics cards together for some crazy insane crossfire performance. Next to your crossfire bridge connections you have a great option on this card. This is your dual BIOS option switch. This switch is shipped from the factory in position number one which locks you in to the factory default BIOS and while in this position is non-flashable. However, flick the switch to position number two. This unlocks a high performance BIOS on the graphics card and enables you the ability to flash this card with alternate BIOSes. Now just remember though, if you do have a, a bad flash on this card and it goes disastrously wrong, simply flick the switch back to option number one or position number one, reboot your PC and your card will be back up and running. Also on the side of the card you have your 8 pin and 6 pin power connectors. So let's have a closer look at some of the features of this graphics card.
Over the next few days we will be benchmarking with the HD 7970 graphics card and conducting some valid comparisons to the nearest NVIDIA competitor. So don't forget to check back for those benchmarks. Thanks again for watching Troubadar's videos. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube or even swing by our forums at www.troubadarforums.com where only the true enthusiasts hang out.